Hey, hi, and hello! Welcome or welcome back to Lily Pads. I'm Lails, your YouTube video host, and today I'll be creating a character using a prompt. Before we start, just wanted to say go check out my Instagram, link in the description. I'll be posting the final result of this image and behind the scenes sketches of other things. That's all I got for you today. Enjoy the video! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is a pose. Um, I've wanted to have her sitting down and try something new, um, but I can't, I didn't really, I don't really like the legs, so I'm gonna try, I tried to move them a little, and it didn't, it didn't quite look right to me, so I kind of ditched it, um, and then we have a reference. Let me tell you, I love references for everything, digital drawing, traditional drawing, references people, that they, they're what you need. Um, so yeah, um, I'm modifying this reference a little bit. I don't want her to be doing like the exact pose that the girl in this photo is doing. So I'm gonna have her just like use, I'm just gonna kinda use like the legs a little bit. So my character is more like walking or like walking away or looking away from something. And so yeah, um, for the arms, as you can see, I'm just doing like squigglies until I figure out what I want to do. Um, yeah, so this is my first sketch. It's really rough. Um, as you know before from previous videos, I do about like two, three sketches maybe and then finalize it. Um, so yeah. Uh, now for the for the prompt, which is, what, which is what you're here for. The first thing said, hair is the same color as your shirt. As your shirt so at the time I was wearing like this tie-dye shirt and I was like okay how do I do this so I gave her a ponytail um yeah her hair is um the tie-dye shirt had pink and blue on it and then like actual shirt was white so I decided to make like her ends kind of dyed um yeah so um also it said next the eyes are the same color as the first object you see when you look up and which was gray because I was wearing like sweatpants so yeah that's cool um so yeah add freckles if you're in two or more fandoms i'm not in a fandom so i could didn't add any freckles um the next was add glasses if you like to read i absolutely love to read so i added glasses on there which i'll do later or if i didn't do already so yeah um yeah so add a face tat if you listen to rap music i don't listen to any rap music so i didn't add that um, yeah, shirt sweater is the same color as your birthstone. Add stripes if you own a pet. That was the next one. My birthstone is opal because I was born in October, so I gave her like a sweater and I made it um, opal colored because uh, you know I don't really I, re I I mean I was born in October, so it's kind of fall and I love fall, so sweater. Um, Add a bracelet or watch if you're in a relationship. I'm not really in a relationship, so she doesn't have that. Um, add shorts if your favorite season is summer and pants if it isn't. Um, I, like I said before, I really like fall, so I gave her pants, which makes more sense anyway for me. Um, and uh, shorts and pants are the same color as your bedroom wall. My bedroom is like a cream, you could say. So, yeah, I gave her white pants and a pink um it's like actually my bedroom is more like whitish cream it depends what light kind of light you have so i gave her white pants and a pink because opal is like pink um sweater um yeah and then uh, i gave her shoes and i made them sage green because that's my favorite color and because it's daytime where i live which was the thing with the shoes uh add shoes if it's daytime where you live so i did that uh yeah so that was a basic rundown super quick um now i'm on the line art uh, so I'm giving her like I'm doing this really simple I didn't really know how to do the hair so I kind of just scribbled it on there and I'm just putting down base colors um, so as you can see the pink sweater the I said the pants are gonna be white I don't know why I'm just looking back at it now I don't know why I made them blue um, so yeah um, then for the uh, shoes sage green because uh, that's my favorite color and I decided just to make it my favorite color because might as well yeah um yeah uh, uh, next I'm going to be going in and trying to like put shadows I think shadows it into the drawing um, yeah but right now uh, 
actually no i'm adding texture to the sweatshirt texture to the sweatshirt into the pants um now i'm adding shadows and i did again really simple i guess i kind of thought more about where the light was coming from this time it's going to be coming in from like the top left or something like that so i gave her those shadows try to think about it i don't really know light very well i have to do more studying on that but yeah i made that super simple and then um yeah so then i'm adding blush i think um blush i love blush if you did not already know this i love 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 blush and you're gonna see it a lot and i'm gonna say that a lot you're gonna see um with more characters up close you'll see more blush but for now i, I didn't you don't see a lot of blush because you know i just i just did like a dot and then just turned the opacity down um now i am drawing her again since i think i had more time for more than one drawing so i wanted to give her a little close-up um so yeah this is just her with a basic facial expression yeah she's pretty a pretty happy person and then this one is her and i'm just gonna keep it fairly simple um and make her just like standing showing off her outfit i guess not even like her full body just like some of it so yeah um uh yeah so she's like kind of like waving and i don't really like this other hand so yeah it's kind of just flobbling there so i might get rid of it uh yeah but i'm adding in her sweater pattern pattern i guess not really pattern um details i don't know um yeah and doing her little ponytail which I think is kind of cute and then her glasses see yeah, I fixed I fixed the hand because I didn't really like where it was um yeah then I'm gonna like roughly color it I didn't want to spend too much time doing line art for this one because I think the rough sketch would look kind of cute if I just left it like that and then I you know fixed it up a bit and I made her glasses gold so you can't really because I think it fit, I feel like it fitted with the uh theme more so you can't really see them on the like finalized drawing so yeah and now i'm coloring in the other drawing again with more sketchy coloring i didn't want to spend too much time on that um just coloring her sweater in and everything and i made their glasses gold but so you can you can actually see it because you know it's sketchy huh <laughs> and then i wanted to add a background i decided to keep again simple and i really like frogs and i was like frogs have nothing to do with this drawing but hey it's maybe she likes frogs i don't know and give it like a little thing and i didn't color in her hair because it's white and so yeah, i had to go back and erase that and then yeah this is kind of the end of the drawing i'm just putting in the final touches so yeah the drawing is done i hope you enjoyed watching the process leave a comment on what you might want this girl's name to be <laughs> subscribe like and turn on notifications have a great day filled with art Bye bye